Y'all okay? I have messages for Zach at your request. Um, we're going to look into what he's doing now, what he's working on, what energies is around him. Uh, look a little bit into his love life, uh, conflicts that he may have, and what's happening next. Um, I really do feel like energy-wise that he is really in a, um, a confused place, like unsure about everything, losing his um, passion for certain things in life. Um, felt like he was going through, I know he's young, but it felt like he was entering into this midlife crisis of who am I? What should I be doing? Is this worth it? That's the type of feeling that I'm getting. Like, I need to really evaluate my life. Is this all worth it? Is this what I really want to do? Is this who I really want to be? Is this who I am? Or am I copying all? off of something or someone or I'm just saying things to say things so he's doing a lot of self-searching there's not even new energies around him um just a lot of self-searching evaluating reflection um this is he actually I believe that he needs some messages some life messages um some spiritual advice because um He's questioning who he is. He's questioning life as a whole. So right now he's working on stability, partnerships, family, friends. He's trying to um, be stable. He's trying to be um, committed to what he has. It's like I'm trying to keep the people that's around me. I'm trying to keep that connection. I'm trying to stay grounded. I'm trying to stay connected. But he's really not. He wants another way out of life. It's like almost like you want to escape. It feels like you want to run away. Yeah. So he tries to do that. That's his aim. But deep down, I got him. Secrets and lies and, and desiring to pick another option of life. Like he want to do something totally different. And I just heard Australia. He want to do something totally different. Something that matches his soul, his passion, his, his life, his being. And he has very, very impulse um, thoughts about walking away. But from what? I don't know. Let's see. From love. Walking away from family. Walking away from friends. Wanting to go do a spiritual revival almost. Yeah. You don't want to talk to people. It feels like he wants to run away. I just heard Lisa Lopez. Feels like he wants to do a left eye. Feels like he wants to go away. Like the group member of TLC. He want to get away. He want to go on a spiritual retreat. He wants to go and be, be hermit and go find himself. He tries to keep the relationships with people, but he really wants to be free. So this is a really good time for him spiritually. He is really, really uh, about to become something new. But first, he's doing some shedding. He just realized, like, whoa, it's, why do I, I feel like he talks like that. Like, whoa, whoa. Um, why do it feels like, um, it feels like he sees that it's so much more to life than what I've been doing. And then he's going to go through this process of shedding, but not communicating or being honest to anyone else about it. It's like, it's almost a secret that I don't want to do what I'm doing. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to do what I'm doing. I want to do something more rewarding. And there's a shedding process that he's about to go through. And, and two, he's going towards something or somewhere else where he can find himself. This could be him moving to a new location, a new country. This can be him taking on a new passion or a new, um, taking on a new effort. Um, could be working with disasters and things like fire. It could be Australia. It really could. And it feels like he's about to take on a new passion, take on a new service. He's about to be a servant in some kind of way, some type of new thing he wants to do. Um, and I think that he's thinking about all these things. I don't see any action 
but there's a strong desire to break away to find the meaning of life. Okay. Now, when it comes to love, um, he's pretty much grounded. He's pretty much, uh, steady. Um, he could have issues with a fire sign, but he, I pick him up as a single person. And sometimes I pick people up as single while they're in relationships because they are that, they are so independent and so detached at times. But I got him here as um, very strong in love, very stable. He doesn't need much. This is a low maintenance type of person. He's not a big person to need or pull or drain another person. Very independent. Um, if you don't receive, you just don't receive. It's just, you just seem to be content. Yeah. No conflict in love. Um, maybe he is, maybe he is single. Uh, maybe he doesn't desire anybody. Um, uh, so I can have him in a relationship strong and grounded with an earth sign. Um, not having any issues, very independent and I can have him, um, by himself, very independent, very strong. It doesn't even look like he has a love life, to be honest with you. I do see some past issues with a fire sign, and he could be dealing with an herb sign right now. Whatever the case is, this is not a big deal to him. Um, he doesn't see love life or love a partner as a... He doesn't see a partner as a first priority. So, um, it's like... Either or wouldn't matter. This don't look like an issue for him. This is not something that he's focused on. It feels like a loner. It feels like a loner to me. Or maybe he just feels like that right now in this season. His biggest conflict is not walking away from burdens. And then I'm wondering, like, what kind of burdens would he have? He seems like he sticks to himself and tries to keep a relationship with family and friends. Don't take love too serious. Yeah, he doesn't walk away from burdens. He doesn't walk. He doesn't choose another route. Um, he doesn't face truths about life. Now, I did see some of that issue going on in the life messages. Um, some type of lies and deceit. Uh, not telling people around him what he truly feel, what he really want, who he really is. Uh, conflict in is that um, I think he wants children. How do you want children and don't want a relationship unless he has children already and could be having problems with the mother of a child? Um, yeah. Got a lack of growth. He is seriously trying to find himself right now. He wants to rest and he wants to find his soul, soulmate, soulmate, soul desire. Yeah, he haven't been touched or had a spiritual connection in a very long time. I think probably this fire sign might be the last person he had a strong spiritual connection with or this um, very passionate, uh, strong um, person, powerful person in his life. But what's next for him? <laughs> There's no plans. There's no plans. It's just a desire to find himself. There's no plans. Um, third party relationships he could be dealing with. Hmm. He could be reuniting with a third party relationship, someone who has someone. He could be very, mm, mm, mm. yeah, this, this guy is pretty, pretty much, um, disconnected, very disconnected, sad, sad at times, frustrated at times disconnected he doesn't have enough feelings for me yeah the end is the spirit is kind of quiet and numb i see him reuniting with situations that make him unhappy i see him reuniting and getting back involved in things that he really is not passionate about doing he makes me feel like he hates going to work He has no choice but to reunite with some of these things he don't desire. Um, it's really encouraged for him to move forward to the life he wants. He's just unclear on how to get there. 
Maybe he's bothered by what people may say about him. Uh, yeah, I'm over it. Okay, here we go. Zach is a very um, quiet, spirited person. Keeps things inside. Um, definitely cares about family and friends. Uh, it's very important to him. He wants the best for everyone. But underneath these relationships, there are lies and secrets. He really want to take an option and flight up out of here. He wants to go down under. He wants to go um, to a place where he can't be quickly found. Um, the truth is he want to follow his heart and find out who he is, what's inside of him. Almost like a spiritual retreat that he needs. Like he needs to get away. Like he needs to go to another country. Like It feels like he needs to go somewhere to find himself. He um, doesn't like talking, which would make sense to why he's having issues um, being passionate about his career. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to sing. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to speak. He really don't have much to say. Some kind of way he lost his drive and he is. Um, has this impulse feeling inside of him to walk away and um, go find that part of him. Um, I don't feel like he wants to, how can I say it, leave forever. He just want to go on a journey and find something more meaningful. Love is not a big deal. Partnership is not a big deal. He's very stable um, when it comes to love. He has it or he doesn't. He comes up to me as a single person, so if he's in a relationship, he's very single-minded, independent, not too attached. They may not even be living together, period. I have him as single. Uh, he could be dealing with an earth sign right now, um, releasing conflict between them and the present, but he has this lingering fire sign around him um, that causes issues and him going forward in his love life. I don't see him making any impulse decisions in love. I don't see him um, elevating, increasing in a love life. I don't see that. It's just sitting still. What conflicts him is that he can't walk away from the things that he don't like. He can't walk away from the things that give him a headache. He can't walk away from the things that pain him. That gives him pain. That gives him hurt. That they, the heavy burdens... He, he don't want to walk away from the normal life, but that's exactly what he needs to do. And I believe that he will. Is that him? He does not want to walk away. He don't want to be a quitter. It bothers him that he doesn't want to do the things everybody expects him to want to do or need to do right now. He really don't want to be the Zach that you know. It's like I just... I'm trying to hold on to this thing that you guys love, but I really don't want to be that person no more. He may want children, or he may be having issues with uh, a, a parent, co-parenting, if he's a parent. Other than that, um, he may want children in the back of his mind. He may want that. But there is a lack of growth here. He's conflicted every time things change. We got some heartbreak on doing um <clears throat> doing things that he's called to do or asked to do. That conflict around it. It's like he don't want to do nothing nobody say. Will he do something? I don't know. I just got him sitting still. Not even swinging on a swing. Just sitting there. Like, if you went to the park and you see all the kids playing, he would be the one just sitting there. Yeah. Legs crossed. Elbows on top of knees. And just looking around, trying to find out what connects to him. Just sitting there. What's next for him? It's, it's a big chance that he goes back and be the Zach everybody wants him to be. That makes him unhappy. Well, he really needs to move forward. Take that spiritual time. Visit, travel. Find that passion. Walk away from some of these obligations that he created in life and he may even need to let a partner go or a dating partner go because 
it looks like he doesn't have a lot of desires for them. And then come back and make an announcement of who the new him is. It feels like a midlife crisis. It feels like the point um, that you realize that you need to shed your skin. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is what I have for him. If you have some um, questions, direct things that you want to know, just uh, post it on the Hollywood Tarot video, the welcoming video that I have, or you can email me at revealinghp um, at gmail.com. All right. Bye-bye.